It is an honor to name Kaylin Gore of Cherokee High School in Marlton, New Jersey as a recipient of a 2022 Monmouth College Trustees Scholarship. The Trustees Scholarship is one of our most prestigious, selective academic awards. It covers full tuition at Monmouth College for all four years. We are thrilled for Kaylin. We are impressed with her accomplishments in high school and in her community. And she will be a wonderful addition to the Monmouth College community. And she actually got interested in Monmouth from one of her teachers. Um, so Kaylin's from uh, the East Coast. Uh, she included a letter to her future self that includes um, some experiences that she expects to have as a first year student, uh, including going to Alfano's. Um, so plug for them. Um, but yeah, I, I knew right away, like, this is a great student. She knows what she wants. Um, her teacher got her interested because he was an alum uh, of Monmouth. Um, so she heard about us from them um, and that just got her interested and she's come all this way since then. In the five, six years I've been doing these interviews, I've never had one, anyone that impressed me like Caitlin did. During her sophomore year of high school, she started a nonprofit. She started it, developed it, is the, still the founder and, and director of this nonprofit called Civic Wave. Someone impressed her enough that we have not been giving our students much civics education anymore. In New Jersey, no middle school or high school class taught civics. There was a bill on a, on a desk in one of the legislators' office that had proposed it several years prior. So when she started looking into all of this, she started making all these contacts with legislatures, you know, the legislative branch of people, people in the legislature. And with the fundraising she did through the, the nonprofit, so she called Civic Wave. And the people and the contacts she made, within a year, just over a year, I think, they got that bill off of someone's desk and through the legislature and passed. New Jersey public schools now must teach a civics course in middle school and in high school. And she didn't stop. She, she achieved what she was hoping for for her state. She then turned around and started redrafting another similar bill for Vermont. And that's now going to the legislature there. She's just amazing in what she's accomplished. I had just gone into my brother's basketball game and I was like watching him prep for his game and like my phone started ringing so i walked out of the school building and it was brock and you know i asked him early in the day about questions about the course selection and he told me about like he gave me the answers to my questions and in the process told me i was one of the few that won a full tuition scholarship and i it was just like happy tears it wasn't like um anything else it was just really just like crying um i heard about mammoth through my Latin teacher, who I've had for three years now, who's been you know, a major influence in you know, my college search process. Um, being one of seven, um, financial aid was a major factor in making a choice. And Mammoth has, you know, even before the full tuition scholarship, given me a lot of money to attend school and make it manageable. And on top of that, um, Underwood has repeatedly said that Mammoth College has changed his life for the better. Um, taking him from what he's like in high school and changing him into who he is now. And he's probably been one of the best teachers I've had so far in my education. Um, and, and I've really appreciated his Latin class. And I think I want to continue learning about Latin and Greek at Monmouth. And I received a really warm and welcoming email from Professor Simmons right after I got accepted to the school too, as well.